not in the canoe with you. Yeah. John Simon, you are uh, a good friend, a collaborator. We've done a lot of really cool things together. Um, and you own a business, a couple businesses uh, now in the tourism industry, yeah. Kepi Travel Club, um, as well as your new acquisition, which there's yeah. a lot of, I guess, unfortunate dark timing uh, in. <laughs> but why don't you, for, for the folks uh, who are watching, who know you, why don't you explain uh, who you are and what your companies are? Okay. Um, well, I've got uh, Greg Archer, my name, John Simon. Uh, I've got two companies. One is Cafe Travel, and Cafe is primarily what we call an outbound uh, travel operator where we plan custom vacations for individuals, couples, groups to go to different places of the world, from, typically from Canada, but also we have clients around the world. And then Canavac Travel Services is what's called the receptive travel operator. So what we do is um, work with travel agencies around the world to bring people to Canada and plan you know, destination vacations for individuals, usually uh, people that are driving by themselves or smaller groups around that want to travel around Canada, stay in similar to Cafe on the outbound side. People come in, want to stay in more bed and breakfasts, boutique accommodations, and really have uh, local experiences. So that uh, company I just acquired and we just closed March 1st, which was great timing. And when you say closed, what you're talking about is closing the deal, not yeah. closing the <laughs> not door. Not closing the that, uh, Thank you. <laughs> because for you know the the spirit of these conversations I'm having here, John, is I want to make sure the world knows that our friends who are running businesses and owning businesses are still alive. Their doors are open, yeah. and they still need business. Now, right now, the industries that I mean, every industry has got clobbered uh, because yeah. of you know, the tourism industry. Of course, um, on an immediate sense, is absolutely absolutely shut down. Exactly. What as a disruption and as a pivot what do you see as the future as things kind of get back to a new normal um what what are we going to start seeing and perhaps the fact that you are um encouraging people to come and do atlantic canada travel as well maybe we're going to see more staycationers um you know invest heavier in their backyard i don't know like what, what what's your thoughts um, well, you, you said the right word, but a staycation, my, my opinion, and, and certainly I'm, I'm not the, the expert in everything, but um, is that when things calm down a bit, that people in Atlantic Canada, maybe Canadians in general, will look more closer to home for their vacations this summer and probably into the fall. So I think, you know, stay, as you said, staycations will be, be very popular, and we're working on some packages around that now to sort of promote um, when things settle down a bit. And obviously, a lot of the restrictions are lifted, at least for uh, in-province and inter-province travel. So I think that'll be a lot of the vacations people take this year. Um, but at the same time, on the receptive side, when you think internationally, um, there's sort of a year cycle that follows where the product and the price and the contracts are actually set this year for European travel agencies, for example, to promote for their clients for next year. So it's, it's what I've been trying to stress to the various government organizations that it's critical this year for tourism that um, all the various product suppliers and companies like myself can still develop that product for 2021 uh, and get it into the hands of the travel agencies this year so that we don't lose the 2021 season as well. And that's, that's a pretty fundamental point we're trying to make. Um, I think from the receptive side, you know, most of 2020 is probably going to be lost. Hopefully we can capture some in the fall uh, when, things, when things improve a bit. On the outbound side, you know, we're going to work on developing uh, some of those staycations that we can promote to Canadians at the same time, have that available uh, for clients internationally that want to come to Canada after things calm down as well. Mm. So in a way, like, because we're all kind of slowing down to a halt, uh, you know, me, I'm always trying to find the silver lining and, uh, you know, yeah. looking at, at, at the best uh, of all situations somehow. Um Maybe it's a, it's a good time, you know, for Hemings House, like we are a marketing communications type of company. That's what we sell. We use video and, and film for that and other mediums. But uh, what I'm talking to some clients about is maybe now is the time to continue messaging, but being yep. very strategic with our messages saying, you know what, there's a good chance the, the 2020 season is probably shot. However, maybe yep. this we get those marketing collateral together, really do the research. Uh, we never have time to sit down and actually do new, uh, you know, new, you know, uh, new market research and, and whatnot. But uh, um, as long as there's a way to weather the storm, and thank goodness we've got a Canadian government that's uh, 
that's really quickly trying to find ways to support companies like yours and mine, John, to stay alive with working capital. But um, what are you going to spend your time doing in the next few months uh, besides a continual hustle into the unknown? Uh, next few months on an outbound side, we're going to start, uh, you hit the nail on the head once again, is that we're going to be looking at uh, to keep people engaged in the whole idea of travel by profiling various places around the world uh, virtually that people can go on and look at and start thinking about you know, what they want to do in the future. Um, I've also got an idea to start reaching out to some of our more frequent partners that we use around the world and sort of doing some interviews like this virtually that we can share with our clients, you know, with uh, our good friend Constantinos, the boat driver in Skokos and Skiathos, or Roberta, our bus driver in the Amalfi Coast, and sort of have a conversation with them about, you know, first of all, what's going on in their area and the struggles they're having, but then secondly, you know, what they have to offer. So that as people are sitting home right now, they can watch those videos, they can take a look at what's going on and maybe start coming up with some ideas uh, for where they want to go next year or in the fall if, if things are cleared up by then. On the receptive side, I want to do the same thing in terms of interviewing some of our uh, New Brunswick and uh, Nova Scotia, PEI, Atlantic Canadian uh, tour providers and about those unique products that they're offering, accommodations they're offering, and put that out virtually as well so our clients overseas can see that and make their plans for Canada as soon as things clean up. So, so you're right that there is an opportunity to build some content, to continue messaging, and to help prepare the ground for when things rebound, which they know, we know they will, uh, and hopefully sooner than later for the industry. Yeah, yeah. And um, uh, for me, I'm, I'm, I've got a smile on my face because uh, I, I just know how much content that you actually have to play with right now to keep the conversation going. Uh, you yeah, and yeah. I have traveled. And I, I want the, the uh, CEOs and the business people who are listening and watching to this to understand what John says. We have been able to hire Kefi Travel to set up a bunch of really interesting um, workshops afar. Like, uh, and we've done one in Greece, John. Uh, we've done one in Mexico. Uh, you and I went out to Greenland. I've got so much content from all of these trips that maybe now is the time for you to start sharing, sharing video, photography, blogs, all this stuff to stay uh, you know, on, on top of everybody's minds once things uh, get going. Uh, exactly. And I was thinking for fun, John, uh, I've, I've got the trailer, the two minute trailer for Tomo Modelo, the thing that we shot in, in Tolo, Greece, um, where we took uh, my brother Mark and I took uh, a, a group with John of uh, aspiring photographers and filmmakers to Greece last May. Uh, in fact, we were supposed to go again this May, but it uh, looks like that's not happening. Um, right. But uh, we had such a fun time taking this group and we made a film. We made two films while we were there. Exactly. What do you want to tell people about this fun trip that we took to Greece uh, before I try attempt uh, to show the trailer? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, we've done it. I've done it, as you said, several times with you and, and with your, your brother, Mark, on the photography side. And I'm always amazed that, um, you know, we're, we've brought together people from all over the world in each one of these workshop experiences. And I think the combination of what you and Mark bring, bring in terms of focusing on the videography and the photography, uh, me sort of handling the background logistics and curating the environment and the experience around that has allowed people to really relax, enjoy themselves, mingle quite a bit, and, and then really improve their skills. And we've come up with some tremendous products out of those sessions. And it's just, it's been a lot of fun. I think, you know, when people come back and talk about the best experience ever, it, it's been very enjoyable, right? And I think, you know, the combination of, of the knowledge you guys have with the, the curation of the experience and the location just creates that special experience. And um, it try uh, uh, the best you can to explain the, uh, the film that we're about to show that you're, that you're actually an actor in. Oh, so my, my, it's not my acting to debut, by the way, I was in children of a lesser God as well. So, no, no, uh, you're in and out. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it was amazing. Once again, the group coming together and, and Part of your workshop during the week is starting from scratch, you know, crafting the outline of a, an approach to a movie, the actual script, uh, identifying the actors and the roles, um, every day sort of modifying, you know, filming different, different components of the movie. And it was amazing to, to watch, for me, to watch people around us that had no idea that, you know, what we were doing, just automatically think that this is a high budget production film going on and, you know, and participating at, at a whim, just inviting people. It was crazy. So, so here's the concept. There was a, um, uh, a young lady named Caroline who's on the trip with us. And I, the first night we all had dinner that you put, you put together, John, in this beautiful place in Athens in the old part of the city. 
And we just talked about what do we want to do this week in, as, as far as a film. And Caroline said that she was looking actually in real life to become, you know, get into fashion modeling. And then we all decided, why don't we make a film about Caroline actually being a supermodel? And in the process of us filming this mockumentary of her becoming, uh, of, you know, of her being a, a supermodel visiting Greece, people in real life saw us filming her and actually thought she was a supermodel. Exactly. Uh, therefore, creating this really amazing effect because she ended up, this one woman on the boat came up to her and said, okay, came up to me and said, would you mind introducing me to your model? Because I'm a, uh, I'm a fashion model. So how cool is that? So anyway, I'm going to do an experiment right now, John, and I'm going to see if I can, yep. if I can share screen. Uh, okay. Again, this is the first time uh, doing this, and anybody who's listening, uh, please let me know how the audio sounds. Um, and here we go. I'm going to share the screen with us all, and we'll go full screen. Do you see that, John? Do you see, do you I see, see it. Tomodello. Here we go. That's in the you harbor buy a watch. The island of Eden. On the streets of Athens, Greece, there is a watch and sunglass <laughs> monger that has unlocked the power secret needed to become the ultimate hustler. That secret power? A seamless and persistent entrepreneurial <laughs> spirit. <laughs> Leonidas Katsidis is the king of his square. Not even the hustlers can hustle him. And even if they dare to try, before they know it, they are under his spell buying his watches. Amazing. Nothing These are all real people with John Papadopoulos at the stage. Puno Cafe. They did not know. They did not know. Yeah. Caroline, tell me about your history of modeling. Uh, well, I have been in a lot of magazines. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Vogue? Oh, of course. Yeah, um, I was in last month's cover. Okay. <laughs> so. Tom Modelo is walking a around the island of Ibera. Try to make ultimate scheme of trying to make Kasaf a young Canadian computer programmer <laughs> by making people believe she is an American supermodel by tricking a famous fashion photographer into taking her model shots. Mark, do good job. Do good job for her. We make a lot of money. We go to New York City. Yeah, very talented actor. Tom Modelo is a film that has it all: adventure, risk. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, this whole film was made in five days, from scratch to completion. Okay, we did it. Get rid of the damn cigarette. That thing will kill you. Produced using the classic Gruborikon method of documentary filmmaking, Tomo Dello tells the story that led to the ultimate rebuilding of the Greek economy. Who wrote this Malakia? Make sure you click it. The link below. Watch the whole film. Ke Panagia Mazimas. Now one giant step. All right, one more giant step and then cheese, okay? Say cheese. He literally fell for it. John Papadopoulos. Yep. Action scene. Oscars for that one. I heard, I heard he was asked to be the next James Bond. <laughs> His Greek accent is abnormal. Yes. It's incredible. Exactly. I yeah. think what I'll do, John, is after we're done this this uh, this uh, feed, excuse me, I'll uh, I'll put a post. I'll probably launch the whole film on on the Having Sounds Facebook. Yep, that's a good idea. So people yeah. can watch it. And just as an example of what you were able to provide to us, uh, Kathy traveled to Hemings House. You're able to make a perfect travel experience for us as we uh, took our students um, with us Thanks. and. Uh, and we're able to make a couple of films like that. And I'm uh, happy to, to share a few more later. So, John, let's touch base again uh, in a yeah. few weeks. See how things are going. And what's the best way for people to stay in touch with you? And do you have any asks at this point? Um, the only ask I would say is obviously people to stay safe at this stage and follow direction, right, of what, what the, the government is telling us to do. Uh, we don't want this, this virus to spread further. Um, but then to think about, you know, there are not just my business, but a lot of local and other tourism related businesses and hospitality and restaurants that definitely need your help. So as things you know, start to clear up, you know, please reach out to those local providers. Oh, I'm getting, you're telling me to slow down for a second. <laughs> Did you hear all that music? No, I didn't. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Because in my mind, there, there's all this symphonic music playing because another video started to play. Sorry, continue, continue going there, John. I apologize. I'm not, I'm not sure where I was. This is live, so I'm just going to make saying, it up. You're saying get people to follow the rules because uh, the more, the yeah. quicker we do that, the quicker we can get rid of this thing and find whatever that new normal is uh, coming around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. And then I think, is, you know, if people are during that period of thinking about you know, the travel they want to do 
or you know internationally about the potential travel to come to Canada, you know the sooner they can jump on that when things clear up and uh, travel is approved, that's going to help all of those tourism related businesses recover because uh, you know they've all like myself seen our business go to zero you know in a matter of days essentially. Uh, and so we need those people back you know on the road and join the wonderful experiences we have here in Canada and elsewhere uh, as soon as possible. Amen, brother. So keffitravel.com. Yes, K-E-F-I. Uh, keffitravel.ca. K-E-F-I-T-A-V-E-L.ca. Um, yep. Start dreaming, people. Lots of time to dream. So poke yeah. around on site and uh, uh, let's keep businesses like John uh, kicking. All right. John, thanks so much, man. Enjoy your, your thanks, drive. Thanks, Greg. Good ball. <laughs> okay. Thanks, man. Have a good day. Cheers. Bye, everyone. See you, John. See you later. Bye.